guys, welcome to another day of Naibai. It is four degrees out here, but getting outside is a vital, essential part of my self-care every day. So even if it's just for a minute, regardless of conditions, I make it happen. So I thought while I was out here getting my outside time, I would talk to you guys about today's topic, which is physical activity, exercise. So I don't think any of you need a lecture on the benefits of exercise and how it affects your mental health, but what I kind of wanted to bring up about it is that I think that our culture is sort of like really polarized it. Um, and if you're like me, I'm sort of like an all or nothing person. So in my head, physical activity is either doing absolutely nothing or it's like going to the gym every day, getting a super, super fit body, doing all these different workouts, targeting different areas every day. And that's really intimidating. It can be really time consuming. And if that's something you're into, that's great. But I think the problem in um, what we see in all these really extreme, really intense workout plans, super, super fit people, is that we kind of get tricked into thinking that that's the only way to be physical act physically active. Also, it really, really, really attaches physical activity to appearance. And um, I know for me, anytime that I've tried to work out to look a certain way, it's not fun and I don't stick to it and it kind of turns into a negative experience. Whereas if I just find things I enjoy doing and I just set small goals and I just do it for the therapy of it or for the fun of it, it's, it's an awesome experience. Um, I always say, you know, I've run marathons and not lost a pound. Marathon training never made me lose weight and never made me look any better, but I love it. I love what it did for my mind. And so I encourage you to find something that's like that for you, where it, you can detach it from your physical appearance and you can just do it because you can enjoy it. Um, and if there isn't anything that you love, <laughs> I would encourage you to just take a small time. Say you're gonna be active for 30 minutes a day. Go for a walk. Do a 30 minute YouTube workout video. Do something just for 30 minutes and kind of stop the mentality of physical activity has to be a regimented, long, intense workout plan. We see a lot of those and um, I think that it's amazing people who have those goals and, and who hit those super fit statuses and, and spend a lot of time working on it. I think that's great, but don't um, don't be fooled into thinking that has to be your goal and that that's the only way to incorporate physical activity into your life. It can be small, it can be simple, but um, like I said, I'm not gonna sit here and lecture you on the benefits, but I know for me, it's been a huge, huge game changer in my mental game and I have to make it a priority, but when I attach it to changing the way I look, I fail. When I attach it to just trying to have a good time, trying to respect my body, trying to connect with my body through movement, it is positive. When I attach it to just this is something I enjoy, this is something I'm doing for my mental health and for my physical health but not for my physical appearance, I get a lot farther. So my challenge for today is to start a small, simple physical activity plan. 30 minutes a day, walking, moving, YouTube video, whatever it may be. Just connect with your body through movement and detach it from your physical appearance and I think it can do great things. Okay, I'm freezing now, so I gotta get back in my car, but I enjoyed a little walk in the park to at least get outside today.